Hey guys, so today is May the 15th, it is Friday, and we are going to be grinding feed because we are, as about, oh, I say a week ago, we we're feeding about 30 head in our pens, and we have now moved them all to pasture, but just about 19 of them. So we still have to feed some feed, yes, I know it's summertime and everything, but butcher beef has to be made, so we gotta. Got to keep them fed, um, and it is raining out here. You gotta love it, but thankfully we have a barn to work in. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Yeah, but uh, we're working in the barn today. But now we're gonna go ahead and go get some feed and just kind of see what we got, else, what else we have to get done today. Charlie, come here. Hey, you wanna say hi to them? Say hi. Okay. Okay, so we got our uh, feed and we're now heading back to the house and I've got 1,500 pounds of a five-way blend and um, 500 pounds of corn. Okay, so I made it back to the home farm and I got a bucket of feed here, or a partial bucket. I haven't done any grinding yet because I came out here to grab the bobcat to unload the um, feed tote and I noticed, ooh, thunder. Um, I noticed our bull broke out of his pen. So I'm catching him back up and gonna put him in this special needs barn. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Oh, big chungus. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah, it's kind of nice having docile animals. As I say that, watch him run me over. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put him here in special needs barn because I don't know how he got out and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we got thunder and whatnot behind me. And it's about to start pouring again. And I'm just gonna swim in this building. Come here, buddy. Come here, bull. Come here. I gotta grab this feed bucket here. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right. Stay there. Stay there, buddy. Okay. So that's done. Okay, so. All right, he's in here now. I just gotta secure this place up a little more, get him some water, get him some hay. Hey Wilbur, how are you? How are you? He's just a cleanup bull we're using right now for um for, for cleaning up cows that are open. We just we can't afford to have any open cows. It's just it hurts production so bad. And we have some really good bulls coming along, but they're only eight months old, and he was actually lost at a year old at another rental property and when i say lost i'm not talking like oh we couldn't find him for a day or two like he literally like, just disappeared off the face of the earth and was gone for like a year like a little over a year and super malnourished um he had worms and was just again like when he I, when i got him he wasn't slick and didn't have any muscle development he was covered in brown hair you could count every vertebrae on his back and kind of every rib this hunger cavity was, I mean, huge. And just, again, he was also scared out of his mind by anyone. So, yeah, it was a real, real unfortunate deal. But I got him back on March 9th. And so he was the only bull we had that we were like, well, we AI'd and transferred into almost everything. And we've had a few cows cycle back. And we're like, look, we just need to get these cows bred. We need to have a bull get them bred so that way they can be with calf and we can have at least some product for either butcher beef or just help cash flow the farm um so yeah i'm gonna get him his hay he's already got grain um that's not enough grain for him but i'll feed him again later so he has two feedings and then if i get my gr feed grinding done in time i'm gonna try to give him some bedding but it's never never my day never, never goes according to plan but you know 
Okay, so I didn't um, get any footage of that. Sorry, it was raining and I just had to get get that done. I didn't want to get my camera soaking wet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this corn unloaded. What we have here is, like I said, it's 1,500 pounds um, of a five-way blend. And if you look at it, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the corn is not ground up. I mean, it's just cracked, rolled corn. I mean, it's not that's not digestible. Like if you were to take a handful of this. You had 10 kernels in your hands. About two of them would be crunched, and then four of those would be cracked. And it's not still not digestible. It's still not. So what we'll do is we'll take a whole kernel and ground it into a powder. So I got to get this corn unloaded, get this truck out of here, get that sprayer off the tractor, then go over there and get the grinder and get started. <laughs> but before I even start anything, I have to service the grinder and get it greased and cleaned and do that but before i put any grain in it or should, no sorry once i get done grinding in it and get all the feed dumped back out into this bin i need to get inside there because we have these dividers <clears throat> my voice got out there uh, we have these dividers inside that help just funnel it down to the vertical mixer and it broke uh back in september and i haven't noticed it till just the other day when i was getting feed out of it that I put those dividers too far against the wall and they are blocking feed. So I have about 300 pounds of feed just sitting in that grinder because they're blocked up and they won't vertically mix downward. So I gotta get that out of there and we'll readjust it and get the grain out of there because we paid for it, we might as well use it. <laughs> and um, I can't really take hay out there right now because I've got hay already in the pen. I didn't see it, I was gonna grab some. So don't really, can't, I shouldn't say can't, there's no need. So I'm not gonna be doing that, but I'm just gonna get grinding here. Another thing I have to do actually that I completely forgot about is I have to empty this sprayer of water before I can hitch up to the grinder over there. So got the truck moved out, gotta empty this sprayer real quick. Shouldn't take too long, it's just kind of an inconvenience that I forgot to <laughs> empty it. y'all just to show you kind of what's going on here it comes out and it sprays 50 feet in total when it's up to pressure but it's not right now the tractor's just idling so hey everyone but yeah i gotta get in the tractor it's starting to rain so yeah i'm just gonna finish getting this out head back and unhitch it and get the grinder Stop. It's still going, and now it's raining pretty hard. So, I gotta finish this. That bull got out again. Look at him, he is out. Oh my. Okay, I got the bull into the other pen. He bent the panel of the special needs barn. I mean, yeah, just a big bull. That's the best I can say. If you guys are ever out there, you're wondering, hey, I want to get into the cattle market. I want to have some you know, bulls, registered or commercial, doesn't matter. Build pipe pens. We're in the process of building pipe pens right now. 
and I can tell you I cannot wait till they're done because this is slightly annoying. He's such a gentle bull, so you're not like mad at him, but you're just like, man, like, just stay in the pen. But no, he's got open cows, he wants to go to this job, so yeah, I mean. It's not like, oh, I'll just take them miles away and he'll forget about them. He'll smell them. He'll go find them miles away. So I've got my hammer here. And I'm going to go and put several posts in the ground where he bent the pan. Literally, he didn't go over. He bent it upward. So i got to put it in the ground, tie it together. But i got to put some stakes in the ground because he's just bent everything. So i got to get those things driven to the ground real quick. And I'm also in my tractor now, and I see the fuel gauge. And I don't have enough fuel to grind, to get anything to grind, so I gotta run town real quick and get some fuel before I can grind feed, so it's okay, it's not a big deal. We'll get it done. Okay, so just got home, just got fuel put in the tractor. Now we're gonna hitch this thing and put it in the back of the barn. I really can't do too much outside right now, it is just raining so so hard right now so i'm gonna just try to get this thing back in here unhitch it and go grab the grinder and bring it in here and get started and hopefully more willing get the inside of the grinder fixed and i'll try to get some footage of that while i'm down there but it's going to be really really difficult to actually show what i'm doing i'll just kind of give you guys a before and after because when i'm down there I don't want to be in there because it's really hard to breathe because of all the dust and I kind of have to get going <laughs> as far as getting my work done. So. Okay, so down that hole there, water has come in through that part right there. And it's gone down the whole chute and it now has water resonating in the bottom, which has built up mold and rotted corn. I didn't know that was even a problem. Now I do. So we're going to take care of that. Okay, so my brother David's helping me and we've got this divider that's too close to the wall and corn gets built up and as you can see having to kick it down because it's building up mold and you might just can't have that so we're going to put it like this where it's away from the wall about you know the hands width and that one's like it this one's like it so we never see it on the other side we always see it on this side of being one ton which really really bothers me because i never know how full i actually am in this thing and this is the vertical mixer goes in the bottom down there and it comes up and yeah there's David up there and then this is the paddles that scoop it off the top and evenly distribute it yeah we're gonna move though right over here
that's all done. Um, I couldn't really get much more done with the amount of daylight I have left. I got some other things I gotta do. But I have probably, I'd say about six buckets left in here. I'll put in the bin later, but I gotta go do some other stuff. And here's the end result. So this is the feed beforehand. As you can see, it's got pellets and whatnot in there. And it's just, you know, it's a normal, this is how it arrives. It's a normal looking feed. Well, this is how mine looks when I'm done with it. This powder, I just, I want it to be what most people would recognize it as a flower. I really don't like there to be a lot of stuff in there that cow has to chew on or their guts may not process correctly, which it's again, cows are they're smart god made them that way they will they will go and they will nitpick through whatever feed substance i give them to find the feed the grain well if i blend it like this to where the corn i mean you can barely see the corn in there where i blend it like this they can't pick out all the goodies and leave the stuff they don't want and so when we start grinding hay and putting this in there with it they can't nitpick through it because it's all the same size and whenever we do that we're increasing digestibility and we're increasing palatability and we're minimizing waste so again optimizing digestibility and palatability is a huge deal when creating a feed ration when you optimize those two things it you start seeing some major results but the other thing is this is going to process differently in their gut than this feed will and I just, uh, I have to be careful whenever I do this feed that I don't push too much onto them at first because their rumen can only handle so much at whatever stage they're long because that rumen can expand. And so, yeah, and we're seeing little balls like this in there mainly because there was moisture in there. So until that moisture is fully cleared out, which will be about two buckets before it get fully gets cleared out, it will ball up like this, which won't hurt the animal, but if you let it develop and build bacteria and mold, and then they won't eat it. And it just, it could become toxic to their stomach if they eat it, but cows are pretty picky. So anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, then hit like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.